Alia, people are slowly showing up here at Place du Canada. Let me show you what's happening right behind me. They have brought flowers, they are lighting candles, they have posters, all this with the goal to uh, keep Joyce Ashaquan's memory alive and to continue her legacy, Joyce's Principle. Joyce's Principle is, of course, a document uh, that aims to guarantee all Indigenous people the right of equitable access without any discrimination to all social and health services. However, the province has refused to adopt the document because it implies accepting their systemic racism in Quebec, and that's something officials deny. The document has been adopted, though, by several healthcare unions and professional orders. Organizers here say that while there have been improvements to the healthcare system, such as sensitivity training, there is a lot more that needs to be done. I know that uh, there is still a lot of discrimination. We see it with the uh, ambulance uh, technicians that show up. We've had horror stories about the way they treat Indigenous people and then even the hospitals, right? So, um, I'm just concerned that there isn't enough change. It's not happening fast enough. A second vigil is taking place later on tonight in Joliet, where Eshquan took her last breath. We will have more on this vigil later on tonight on Global News at 11. Back to you, Alia. All right, thank you so much for that, Gloria. That's our Gloria Enriquez reporting for us tonight. Meantime, Joyce Echequan was honored with a minute of silence at the National Assembly today. Quebec Solidaire's Manon Massé presented a motion asking for Quebecers to remember the late Indigenous mother. A representative of each political party took turns describing Echequan and calling for action to ensure Indigenous people have access to care without discrimination in the healthcare system. Some, including Massé, also called on the government again today to recognize systemic racism and adopt Joyce's principle. Indigenous Affairs Minister Yann Lafrenière maintains his government's stance on systemic racism, but says they're actively combating it and acknowledging the need for improvement. What the, the, um, the experience every day, it's, rac it's uh, systemic racism, and, and they, have, they are afraid, they're still af afraid to go to the public uh, services, health services. We all remember what happened three years ago, and uh, it was an ultra shock for all Quebecers. My first words are for the family, for Carol, the kids, all the community of uh, Manawan. And uh, I'm asking Quebecers today to, uh, to remember. He says he's still considering changes to Bill 32 following consultations with Indigenous communities earlier this month. The bill aims to put in place cultural safety practices in the healthcare system for Indigenous patients.